Hi guys, I'm Kosha Patel and reporting to you live from my Kama Diva bedroom and I have a boy in my bed. Okay, his name is Jason Horton. Jason, you are the world's only white, white. comedian. Male comedian. Male you comedian. Almost had it. Oh. Yes, the only white male comedian. There's there's female comedians of all colors and races. So, you have a podcast. I do. Tell us about that. I have a podcast called The Two White Guys Podcast. Uh, it, you know, I, I never was, uh, I didn't even ever listen to a podcast, but I was like, oh, everyone is, seems to be doing this. I like talking to people. So yeah, I just started doing it. It's been really successful uh, interviewing um, adult stars, but I know I'm bad. If a 16 year old me knew that I'd be doing this, uh, later in life, he wouldn't uh, believe it, but it's really interesting. Uh, YouTubers, comedians, so I'm like kind of cross-pollinating audiences and stuff like that. Now, you're also a sketch actor and improviser? Yes, that's that's how I got my start doing improv and sketch uh, for like the last nine or ten years. That's awesome. Yeah, the podcasting's pretty new, but the sketch is old and tired. It's okay, so everyone's dying of suspense, so let's show a clip of some of your sketch is. Sketch work. Z -z -z. Sometimes I think about the perfect woman. Yeah. Oh, she'd have to know me better than I, I know, know myself. myself. <laughs> We'd be able to finish each other's sentences. She would wear cool outfits, a funky hat, and eat a really messy sandwich. She'd know how to laugh. <laughs> she'd know how to cry. <laughs> and she'd have to be right in front of my face. This whole time. And she'd have to be black. That was awesome! The perfect woman. Mm. We all wanted to know. What the perfect woman was, yeah. But you know, any, you know, any girl I meet's the perfect woman. Bing. <laughs> I just fell in love. Yeah. See, this is what I do. This I is what I do. I just fell in love. This yeah. is how you charm them. Yeah. I see that totally worked. So let me ask you. Okay. You put a lot of content on mm -hmm. the internet. Okay. What is your favorite thing about the internet? I have an audience of millions, which is crazy to think about. And, uh, you know, it's just like, I, I call it taking comedy to a bigger stage. And, yeah. and, and the internet's a really, really big stage. That's awesome. So I just, I just love doing what I love and having the most amount of people see it as possible. Bellatrix Lestrange. Okay. Cleopatra mm -hmm. or Marie Curie. Who would you pick to be in an improv troupe with you? I would pick Cleopatra because she'd probably look kind of exotic, right? And she'd probably have an, um, Marie Curie has a, probably a French accent, but she would like be the kind of exotic, so they would be like, oh, there's a pretty hot, exotic chick up there. This is what I do. I surround myself with people that are more talented than, than me, and that's kind of my secret to success. So if I put somebody hotter or more funny, that's how I get by. So yeah, Cleopatra. Interessante, mm, yeah. Cleopatra coming at ya. Yeah. Same question, Mary fucker kill, go. I am into goth. Oh. So I would fuck, as long as we were married and in love, I would fuck Bellatrix, because you can't have sex unless you're married. <laughs> love is stupid, like, right. right, yes. Right? Obviously. Um, and then I would, you know what? I'd kill Marie Curie, because you know what? She seems smug. So I would definitely kill her, and then I would uh, marry Cleopatra again, uh, so I can um, be racist around her, and it'd be okay. I feel like we should be doing something with this. I know it's like hug. The tension oh, let's has hug been. It out. The let's tension has out. been. This is not hugging. Okay. Uh, for starters, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's happening clear. again. Not, Let, you know hugging. what? Let's just do this. Yeah, These okay. unicorns are getting crazy. Yeah. <laughs> this is the most. This is the, never mind. I was gonna be like, this is the most. Never mind. I can't.